friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be completing my second story kit crush project using the seasons story kit from Allie Edwards. So last week I did a spread that did not have any pictures associated with it and it was all about our love for the different seasons. In today's project I am going to be talking about specifically the season of fall um, and why for me it is the season of joy. So I took one of the four by six cards and I cut it down into a traveler's notebook width. So that's four and a quarter inches wide. Then I added my journaling on here through the computer which I do have a tutorial for that if you're looking for uh, tips and tricks on how to get typed journaling onto your cards using your computer. And then I also created some photos or cropped some photos into three inch circles. So I have three of those in addition to two three inch circle journaling spots. So my plan is to create a traveler's notebook and have one side be the photo and the journaling here and have the other side be a bunch of circles layered up and with the journaling and all that stuff in it. So um, we are just going to jump right into this and get started. So without further ado, let's do this. So jumping right into this spread, the first thing I'm going to do is take all of these photos and journaling and journaling cards or filler cards and all the things and turn them into three by three circles. So my concept for this whole page was to try and make some kind of layered background with all of the circles. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, or like if I was going to need a background paper to go behind the circles or if the circles would be good enough to fill everything in by themselves. So what I'll end up doing is just cutting out all of the circles that I can or punching out all of the circles that I can. And then I'm also going to take that floral paper that you see back behind everything. And I'm also going to cut out a traveler's notebook sized page, which will be the four and a quarter wide by eight and a quarter tall. So then I have an extra piece of cardstock, which is that same size. So four and a quarter wide by eight and a quarter tall. And I'm going to use that to adhere both my photo and my journaling to it. That is just going to make sure that everything lines up correctly and is the right size. So when I go to put it in the album later, all I have to do is just adhere in the whole page itself. So the photo that you see there is, and all of the photos that I used on the opposite page in the circle cutouts are actually all from fall 2019. At the time when I was making this spread, the fall hadn't totally hit here in Michigan. It was still kind of hot and the colors weren't changing. So when I was going to do this spread, I figured why not go and find pictures from last year fall and use those instead. So the ones I have here are of Aaron, Izzy, and Jonah all together out in the backyard by our play set. And then throughout the circle page, I have a picture of uh, some apples that we got that are covered in caramel and sprinkles. I have a picture of my, I don't even know what that's called, pumpkin cold brew, I believe, the pumpkin cold brew drink that they make. I haven't had one yet this year, so I can't remember what it's called. And then um, I also have a picture of a pile of pumpkins from when we went to the pumpkin patch. So I printed all three of those out in addition to the picture of Aaron and Izzy, and that is what I'm using for the photos in this spread. I do make a note of that in my journaling on the right side of the page, which I will go ahead and read to you. So the card there says season of joy. I do end up putting season of change as a sticker, like a tiny word phrase sticker on top of the journaling lines and then my journaling says fall has been my favorite season forever i love the change in temperature the leaves changing colors the heavier comfort foods the crisp air and everything in between bring on the fall and then right at the very bottom i just have photos fall 2019 just so I know that although this page was made in 2020, the photos are actually older. That allowed me on the left-hand side to kind of journal a little bit of reflective, or to do some reflective journaling is what I'm trying to say. So uh, what I've been doing while I was talking about all of that is just figuring out how to layer all of these photos and journaling cards and everything on that side of the page to fill everything in. 
So in addition to the cards and the photos and everything, I also have two of the acetate circles that came in the kit. One of them says so good and one of them says changes. So I also layered those in as well. Now I'm just going to work from the bottom layer up to the top layer and get everything adhered down on top of that page, which is just a plain white cardstock four and a quarter by eight and a quarter page. So then I will definitely make sure to add my journaling on the very top. That way nothing gets cut off. I probably could have done my journaling a little bit different where there were notches in it so I could layer those under and over, but I really wasn't thinking that far ahead. So it's just going to have the two journaling spots on the top of everything and it, it looks fine anyway. So the journaling there says this. It it goes from the top circle to the bottom circle. So it says, it's so funny how much can change in a year. When I look back on these photos of last year, I'm struck by not only how little the kids are, aren't they the cutest, but also how much the world has changed this past year. I'm so bummed that our fall season won't be the same as usual this year. We won't be able to go to the town festivals. We won't be able to go see the best movies that always come out in the fall. We won't be able to go trick-or-treating around our neighborhood. But instead of looking at all the won'ts or can'ts, I want to look at the cans and do's. We can make new traditions for the fall Halloween season. We can complete our annual corn maze super early on a weekday morning. We can cozy up on our couch and watch all the fall favorite movies movies as a family. We can be with each other happy, healthy, and grateful for our time together. So that is pretty much going to be what this what this page turns into. I went ahead and trimmed off all of the access parts of the circles. Then I'm going to grab my date stamp and go ahead and stamp the date that I made the spread on to the journaling card just so I remember that the photos were 2019 and the journaling was 2020. Then I'm going to use my score tape to adhere the pages uh, into my traveler's notebook. So this traveler's notebook is a pocket page notebook which comes from a company in Australia. And um, the very middle portion does not actually have a pocket. So this one is the only spread in this album that will not have a pocket in between the two pages. And, you know, that's totally fine. So it's kind of crazy that I've made it all the way to the middle of this album already. I like, can't even believe that. I should also mention, too, before we get to the end of this, that um, Michelle at the Stamp Spot, that is where I got the pocket page notebook from, uh, she is not currently selling these internationally. So... Uh, this one I have received, but then um, I actually can't get any more of these right now. So in case anybody is wondering where you can find a pocket page notebook, currently they are unavailable, but hopefully shipping will return. All right, friends, so that finishes up this Traveler's Notebook spread. Love the way that this turned out. I love how all of those circles totally filled in that that uh, Traveler's Notebook size paper and makes it look like it is a pattern paper or some kind of like patchwork thing over here. Super cool. Um, I hope that this gives you guys another idea of something to document using the Seasons Story Kit. Also, make sure to head over to Tashi's page here. I've got it linked in the description box down below to see what she made this week using the Seasons Kit. And check out the hashtag over on Instagram for lots of other inspiration as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future crafty videos. I have a bunch more videos coming at you this week that are October daily themed because it is still October daily season. And then I also have a project life and another season story that will be coming next week on Friday. So definitely put that on your calendar if you are enjoying this series. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.